Congratulations, you are now the CEO of your very own business. That's right, you work for yourself as a motivational health and fitness coach. No one tells you what to do, no one makes your hours for you. This is all up to you on what you want to do to help yourself grow. Now, you work with Beachbody, but Beachbody is just a vehicle that you use. This is where we find the best programs, nutrition, and products that we can find for our customers. This is just the vehicle that we use to help our business grow. However, you are an independent Beachbody coach, which means that you get to grow your business and tailor it however you want. It's, it's personalized to you and your needs and your dreams and desires. So, what do you need to work on now that you're a business owner? You need to start by personalizing your business with setting business hours for yourself each day. So that way you have some private time that you can really work to grow your business. It may be different every day. It may be the same every day. It may be an hour every day, but it's what works for you in your schedule. Another thing that you want to think about is making an office space. Working in a different place from the bed or the kitchen table or the counter um, and changing it around every day makes it really difficult for you to stay consistent. You have to clean everything up and then pull everything back out. If you can just have your private area where you don't have the distractions of the family um, or anybody bothering you and you can just kind of set yourself up um, without having to put everything away at the end of the day, you're going to have a lot more success um, in going back and looking at everything every day. Um, another thing is, is that you really want to work on looking at your email, um, looking at your voicemail, and personalizing that to you as a business owner. So you may put in your signature, um, for me, I'd put Jamie Hafner, Independent Beachbody Coach. Um, I'd want my phone number on there, my uh, website. And a lot of times you'll see, um, ask me how you can save 25% on products. You know, there's a lot of people that get emails from you and it's not for business, but they don't know what you do. And just seeing that at the bottom of your email or hearing on your voicemail, this is Jamie Hafner, independent team Beachbody coach, they're going to want to know what you're doing. So this is just another avenue to start up conversation. Um, and plus give them a, a chance on your email to see your uh, websites without actually having to hand them out. Um, another important thing to do is to have business cards and I waited a long time to do that because oh, I didn't know what to put on my business card or you know I just wanted to make sure I was growing my business a little bit before I did that but one of the issues that I had was every time I talk, start talking to someone uh, that I'd run into and I'd be like oh I gotta give them my phone number and then I've got to find a pen and I've got to write it down you know when you get to talking to somebody it's just here's my card call me um, send me an email, you know, look at my website. Um, and then you don't, it's, it's just a little, a faster way to do it and, and to keep you from missing out on that, that, uh, business opportunity. Um, another thing is, you know, you've got business expenses. Um, and these are things that can be written off on your taxes when you do your taxes every year. And every, every chance we get to save money, we want to do it. So, um, I would, Maybe make a folder with all of your receipts in it. Um, keep a spreadsheet of any expenses you have. It could be any kind of business expenses, notebooks, pens, um, anything like that. I, I write off my programs, my Shakeology. I mean, it's it's a it's a um, a piece of I, I guess equipment or whatever. It's something that you have to have to run your business. So I count that as a write-off. Um, any kind of phone records or anything. I mean, you're always on your phone, on your internet. So think about all those expenses that you have, whatever you use for your business, and write that down. And something else that I do um, is I keep a separate bank account for my business. Um, the only thing that goes in and out of there is, you know, my paycheck goes in and then what comes out is whatever expenses that I have. I just take it straight out of that account. Um, it doesn't mess with my account at all. Um, and then another thing I do is I pay myself from that account and I transfer tax money 
into a separate savings account. So I keep a tax savings account, um, which I think is really important because when you start making a good bit of money and you haven't been taxed on it since you're a contractor through Beachbody, you wanna make sure that you can um, go back and pay that at the end of the year. You know, the last thing you want is come April 15th, oh gosh, I owe $1,000 from taxes. Where am I gonna come up with that $1,000? There goes my next paycheck, you know? So um, what I do is whatever I pay myself, I take about a third of that and I put it in a tax savings account. And you know, I've done this with other businesses and it's worked out really well. Um, I always end up with more in that tax savings account than I need, which I get pretty excited about that because in April, then I can start planning my next vacation and I've got a good down payment to put towards that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, just if, if you take out you know, a certain amount that you pay yourself, you count it as what you're paying, Put you know a chunk of it in that, and, and put the rest of it in your bank account, and it'll really keep you on track in the future. Um, and then you know what you really just want to remember when it comes to running a business is you know if you want this to be a business, you need to treat it like a job. You need to treat it like a business. It's not just a hobby. Unless you want it to be a hobby, which is fine too, but if you want to see that income, if you want to quit your job and be at home and do this full time, treat it like a business. You know, the more consistent you become with this business, the more successful you will become. So remember that. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.